now let us discuss about representation of relations in discrete mathematics we can represent relations mainly in two ways the first approach is relational matrix relational matrix means it is a matrix matrix representation of the relations and the second one is digraph we know what is digraph digraph means directed graph so directed graph means uh, there is there should be some edges from the source vertex to the destination vertex so there should be some edges from source to the destination vertex whereas undirected graph means there are no edges between the source to the destination vertex so the second approach is digraph so digraph means graphical representation of the relations uh, so let us solve these two examples Uh, by using the relational matrix as well as by representing in graph format so let a is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 b is equal to 0 comma 1 comma 2 comma 4 so two sets are given here xy belongs to r if x is less than or equal to y x is less than or equal to y so here x means an element present in the first set y means an element present in the second set so first let us uh, uh, solve the first first example so r is equal to r is equal to so we have to take the first element from the first set and let us combine this element with all the elements in the second set so can we write 1 comma 0 no here what is the condition x less than or equal to y 1 less than 0 condition is false next can we write 1 comma 1 yes we can write why because here the condition is x less than or equal to 1 so 1 is equal to 1 so 1 less than or equal to 1 Next to one comma two, yes, we can write one less than two. Next to one comma four, one is less than four. So first element is over. Now let us take consider the second element and form the ordered pairs with the elements of the second set. So first to two comma zero, it is not possible. Why? Because two is greater than zero. Next to two comma one, not possible. Why? Because two is greater than one. Next to two comma two, it is possible. Why? Because two is two equal to two. Here equal to operator is also there, less than or equal to. Next we can write two comma four also. Okay. Next let us take the third element and form the ordered pair with uh, the elements of the second set. So not possible to write three zero, three one, three two. We can write three comma four. So this is the relation. So first we have to represent this relation with the relational matrix. We know what is a matrix. Matrix means collection of rows. and columns so here rows are nothing but the first two set so what are the elements of the first two set 1 2 3 so rows are nothing but 1 2 3 1 2 3 okay next columns are nothing but the elements of the second set so 0 1 2 4 okay so here we have to draw the matrix if an ordered pair is available in the relation then we have to write it as we have to write the element of the matrix as 1 if that ordered pair is not present in the relation then the matrix element is 0 so what is the first pair first one 1 comma 0 1 comma 0 is not present in the matrix 1 comma 0 is not present in the relation so here the element of the matrix is 0 so this is nothing but matrix okay next one 1 comma 1 1 comma 1 it is present in the relation so matrix element is 1 next 1 comma 2 it is present in the relation so matrix element is 1 1 comma 4 it is present in the relation so matrix element is 1 next to 2 comma 0 it is not present so element of the matrix is 0 2 comma 1 is not present so element of the matrix is 0 next we have 2 comma 2 so matrix element is 1 next we have 2 comma 4 so matrix element is 1 next to 3 comma 0 3 comma 1 3 comma 2 is not present so element of the matrix is 0 next 3 comma 4 is present so element of the matrix is 1 so this is the relational matrix for this problem next we have to construct the graph here what are the elements of the first matrix 1 2 3 so 1 2 3 are nothing but vertices and what are the elements of the second matrix 0 1 2 4 so 0 1 2 4 are also the vertices of the graph now we have to construct the edges so what is the first one 1 comma 1 so 1 comma 1 so from 1 to 1 there is an edge So in one comma one, this first one is nothing but set A element. 
second one is nothing but set b element here this this 1 2 3 are nothing but set a elements this 0 1 2 4 are nothing but set b elements next from 1 comma 2 there is an edge so we have to write like this why because the first one belongs to set a this 2 belongs to set b we can't write like this we can't construct an edge like this why because here this 2 belongs to the second set okay next 1 comma 4 1 comma 4 next 2 comma 2 2 comma 2 means it is a self loop next 2 comma 4 2 comma 4 next 3 comma 4 so 3 comma 4 so this is nothing but digraph for this problem so likewise let us solve two more examples so what is the second example x is greater than y x is greater than y so here what is x and y x set only x set only so what are the elements of x set 1 2 3 4 so first let us uh, write the relation r is equal to x greater than y so we have to take the first element and form the ordered pair with all the elements of the x they are nothing but 1 2 3 4 so can we write 1 comma 1 we can't write why because 1 is greater than 1 condition is false we can't write 1 comma 2 we can't write 1 comma 3 we can't write 1 comma 4 so next let us take the second element we can write 2 comma 1 so why because here what is the condition x greater than y 2 is greater than 1 we can't write uh, uh, 2 2 2 3 2 4 why because 2 greater than 2 2 greater than 3 2 greater than 4 condition is false next let us take the 3 so we can write 3 comma 1 3 comma 2 but we can't write 3 comma 3 3 comma 4 why because 3 comma 3 3 greater than 3 condition is false 3 greater than 4 condition is false next from the 4 we can write all the pairs 4 comma 1 4 comma 2 4 comma 3 4 comma 4 why because 4 is greater than 1 4 is greater than 2 4 is greater than 3 4 is greater than 4 so next 1 2 3 4 are nothing but uh, uh, rows and 1 2 3 4 are nothing but columns okay so what is the first edge 2 comma 1 so from 1 2 1 1 2 2 1 2 3 1 2 4 we don't have any ordered pair from 2 2 1 we have an ordered pair 2 2 2 2 2 3 2 2 4 no order pair next 3 2 1 3 2 2 3 2 1 3 2 2 there is an ordered pair 3 3 3 4 not available next 4 1 4 2 4 3 4 4 next we have to construct the graph so 1 2 next to 3 3 4 okay 1 2 3 4 so first one is what 2 comma 1 so here we have an edge next one 3 comma 1 3 comma 1 so next one 3 comma 2 3 comma 2 next one 4 comma 1 4 comma 1 next one 4 comma 2 4 comma 2 next edge 4 comma 3 next stage 4 comma 4 4 comma 4 means it is loop loop so here the source vertex and the destination vertex are same only so this is the matrix and graph for this problem so likewise in the third example all the order pairs are given so 3 3 means what it is a loop okay likewise we can easily construct so all of you please solve this example example 3 okay so this is about uh, representation of relations we can represent relations by using these two approaches matrix representation as well as graph representation